this is Arpit. I have built an application which is similar to Cluely. Um, basically, this application captures, you know, you are able to take screenshot and ask the question to the AI and it will be, it will respond. This app will not be visible to the interviewer. Um, you even get real-time meeting summaries. Also, the questions that are being asked in the meeting are highlighted. Um, the only thing uh, that it lacks is at the moment I have not created a platform wherein let's say you know you have the entire sign up flow you create an account um, and in that particular account when you log into that particular account you are able to see your uh, history of the meetings that you've had and the summary of it. Uh, the main uh, goal of this is that if you have a subscription to chat GPT and you take that particular uh, open AI API key and can uh, you know use this particular app so I'm planning to open source this particular application right um, so in this video I will not be able to show the show and hide app functionality because at the moment I do not have someone was free uh, for a call right um, but I will proceed with displaying and showcasing the features that we have so let me begin um, as you see here I've just opened lead code and this is a hard question you take a screenshot you could ask As you see, it generates a solution. Now, let's say there are times when in an interview you are having a conversation, right? You cannot type. So to tackle that, you could just click on the screenshot and I come here and I just, okay, let's solve this using python right as you see it provided a solution in Python. Now let's say um, you like this particular solution. So I've given a very uh, small option that you could save it, right? You could export it. So again, this is not a sophisticated solution, right? This is just for people to use locally, right? But yeah, it serves the purpose of helping you out in interviews. Now let's go ahead and proceed with the, uh, me reset this, proceed with going to meetings. Um, let me explain a bit about this page. The agenda is that here you could do multiple things. One is get real time summaries and also questions during the meeting that is being asked or will be rendered here. Questions is I would say a bit flaky at the moment uh, but let me just show you. So here I'll select USB 2 because this is the uh, uh, microphone that I'm currently using right. Now I come here I click on start but you'll see nothing is being done because I have not yet enabled so these toggles make sure that we are not like overloading the system unnecessarily and uh, we focus on what is required so let's say I when I toggle this now I'll be uh, just giving a brief intro about myself and you will see that in the summary section it will do the same 
Hi, this is Arpit. I have seven plus years of experience working as a front-end engineer. I have led engineers, uh, I have led, sorry, uh, five engineers in my previous organization. See, so it's generating real-time summary. Now let's say if I enable this, and let's say you're having this conversation with someone in an interview um, and they ask questions like, okay, uh, Arpit, what do you mean by React? As I said, what is TypeScript? What do you what is JavaScript as I said the questions part is a bit of a hit and miss at the moment yeah so when you click on this it loads over here in the input and when you click on submit You can get the solution over here. I know the question part is a bit flaky, but yeah. And now let's see. Uh, I could toggle this off. Now let's say if you want to export, you can export even this, right? So let's say. I'm opening here and you can see the summary is there along with the result and the questions that were asked so yeah uh, the idea behind this is that rather than having a platform people who just want to you could camouflage it using a different app name and use it right there are few i think common functionalities like dark mode and other stuff i'm still wondering whether if i should open source this i tested it uh, previously for seeing whether the app is visible or not it worked as expected i will be creating a separate video displaying that feature um, i hope you like the demo um, also let me know if you want me to open source this um, I hope you guys have a nice day thank you bye